2016-02, section 21156, yeah. government code. <coughs> Confirming disability status for application of industrial disability retirement submitted by employee. Eric. Uh, what I just asked the chief to hand out uh, and what I provided to you at the beginning of the meeting, uh, what is in the packet has been slightly revised uh, as of today. Um, and I will explain exactly what has been changed and then I will explain what this is. If you go down about three-fourths of the way where it says advanced disability pension payments will be made, um, I had a placeholder in there of payments will be made in accordance with the labor code. We were able to get clarification uh, today from our uh, workers' comp attorney as well as uh, CalPERS on what exactly that is. So I made the change and put in the exact amount. It now says payments will be made monthly in the amount of $3,673.63, getting June 1st, 2016, first payment for May will be prorated to the uh, amount that's listed there. Um, in accordance with the labor code, as this process is being, uh, well, processed by CalPERS, he has the right to collect and we have the obligation to pay the amount that I have listed there, which is 50% of his base monthly rate. Um, pre-tax. Uh, we, assuming everything is approved uh, tonight from the board as well as um, through CalPERS and by the workers' comp judge, CalPERS will actually reimburse us every penny that we pay him out um, and deduct it from future payments for him. Um, so this isn't, this is a upfront expense that will be reimbursed to the district, but it will come from the district until it is officially processed by CalPERS and they are taking on the retirement payments, at which point we will then be reimbursed. Uh, so what this is, Resolution 2016-02, Fire Captain John Bagla has submitted to CalPERS as well as this agency a application for disability retirement. Uh, the board needs to approve this resolution in order for this to move forward and then by tomorrow, um, between Carolyn and myself, we have to submit this as well as some other uh, documentation, most of them covered by uh, HIPAA laws uh, stating his medical condition as permanently, uh, I don't know what's the exact wording in here, uh, incapacitated within the meaning of the public employee's retirement law. Uh, if this is approved, his last day as a Marinwood employee would be today, and he would effectively be retired tomorrow. Motion to approve. Second. Um, I think we're <coughs> not quite at that point yet, <laughs> but thank you. <laughs> thank you, Eric. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, I mean, all I would say is this resolution is a standard part of the process. There's nothing. I mean, this every word in here was taken directly from the CalPERS template uh, uh, that they make just for this. Now, since this has to do with with personnel, is there is there any restrictions as far as our discussion on on this issue? Uh, well, it states in here you have seen the medical records, mm -hmm. um, but you are not to really discuss what those say. Yeah. Um, and that is more HIPAA laws, um, but that does declare him as incapacitated and based on that you are basically stating that you agree with the medical uh, diagnosis. Thank you. Uh, are there any clarifying questions from, from the board for staff regarding resolution 2016-02? Out of curiosity, did CalPERS give these numbers? Um, CalPERS confirmed these numbers. They did not. What those numbers are, uh, you're talking about the advanced disability pension payment? Well, the pension payments, period. Um, yes, those be. numbers are exactly what was submitted to CalPERS. They represent 50% of his average monthly wage okay. over the past three years. And did they give any indication as to the taxable portion of this? Um, there is no taxable portion that is actually uh, tax free. It's tax free. Uh, Eric, so. Calper's on the hook for it, though. But. Yeah. No. 
CalPERS is us. Well, yeah, I was going to say, we'll, we'll get it in the back end. Well, but we will be reimbursed for all no, of this. No, no, no. And, uh, we. We as, but, we as <laughs> residents of California. <laughs> I see what you're saying. At least there's there's nearly 40 million of us, so. <laughs> oh yeah, it spreads it out. <laughs> you took a big picture on it. Speaking of already spreading out. <laughs> Eric, I see that um, it, it's noted when the when the payments will begin. Yeah. So so this amount will. Do we know when? So will this be just be a regular monthly payment? Yes, it will or until CalPERS takes over. It can take 60 days, they yeah. say. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. Mm -hmm. So for a couple months, most likely, we will be covering it. Uh, okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Are there any other clarifying questions from the board? No. Nope. Uh, comments from the public? Yeah, well, um, Mr. Nelson, yes. go ahead. Thank you, Mr. Guy. Um, this is exactly the kind of uh, thing where a detailed report would be good for the record and for the future because it really involves a legal matter. Actually, I have a question. Um, you know, uh, I, I don't know how they determine what a workplace injury is. Uh, I understand it's great to have full disability when you get out of the fire service because it's tax-free retirement, something that we peons don't get. But can someone explain to me, uh, say if I had a knee injury or a hip injury, which would be the normal course of aging, um, how that would be different than a fireman with the same uh, types of injuries? How is it determined that one is a workplace injury and, and not due to other factors? Um. Well, sure, I can take my best guess at that for you, Steve. And uh, outside of the fact that I wasn't here when this injury specific occurred, uh, when you submit anything to workers' comp, um, it is pretty heavily investigated by workers' comp. They're relying on not only statements that the injury occurred uh, at the workplace, but also uh, uh, they do their own investigations, that it's not a pre-existing condition, that it is not any of those types of things. Uh, I can tell you they have uh, a very good legal firm, our particular workers' comp agency does, uh, that works on all of these types of things. My understanding is that this was an injury that certainly did occur while he was on duty. Uh, and I don't believe that that has ever been contested. So you're to make that determination tonight that it was a workplace injury or not for the purpose of disability? That was decided a while ago. Are there any further comments from the public? <clears throat> Hearing none, I'll ask for a motion to approve item J2. I move to approve. Second. <laughs> <laughs> you had your chance. I couldn't do it. <laughs> Moved by Director Perry and seconded by Director Clement Green. Is there any further discussion from the board regarding Resolution 2016-02? No. Then I'll call the, <clears throat> the question to order. All those in favor of approving Resolution Number 2016-02, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Aye. Uh, motion approved with Director Shea oh. uh, sensing. <clears throat> well, I said aye. Say it? No. <laughs> it was late. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, I was waiting. Wait, so it looks so like you so said, said aye. Oh, sorry. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, sorry. I got him. That would be a day. OK. <laughs> Correction. I understand. Oh. It's so unanimous. Okay. Approved unanimous. <laughs> you know, I, I, I just will say one thing is that uh, regardless of how you feel about the workers' compensation system in California, that uh, John's been an employee of the district for 28 years when he started as a volunteer in 1988. And um, he's done a lot of good things. He's spent a lot of Fourth of July making his place pancakes. Um, he's, I've run a lot of calls with him. He's, he's been a very good fireman. Um, I would have gone into any burning building with him uh, back when he was healthy, and 
Um, I'm going to miss him. I was hired the same day as John. And uh, it's been an interesting week for me. We retired a fire engine that I only worked on, and the guy I got hired with was retiring. And I called my workers' compensation doctor just to follow up to see if he was how he was doing, and he retired too. So there's the writing is on the wall. There might be a message out there for me. My knee hurts. Yeah. <laughs> Would you invite John back to the Fourth of July so he can make dollar pancakes one more? John has already made the commitment that he will be flipping pancakes on the Fourth of July, and there will be some sort of recognition of John at an outside place, a party. And if you've never tilted us. If you've never bellied up next to him in a bar and tilted a beer with him, it's you actually a pretty fun experience. You can't get next to him. <laughs> yeah. He's retired as of two minutes ago? Yeah, uh, basically two minutes ago, yeah. 1201. Yeah, I'd like to say something as well. Um, I've had the opportunity to um, meet and confer with John Bagala several times over um, the last decade. And um, it's been an experience. Um, one that I assume will continue. But uh, for all intents and purposes, um, you know, I've learned a lot from my association with John, and I wish him well. Personally, I, I would like to add that John, John was very helpful in, in helping pass our recent ballot measures, measures, measures H and I, and, and I would like to thank him for that, as well as his uh, use of service to the Marine CSD. <clears throat> Unless there's anything further on item J2, uh, J3, date of next fire commission meeting, June 7th, 2016. Is there anything additional to say on that, Chief? All right, moving on to item K parking.